welcome everyone to Anfield on a very mild night where Robbie Fowler leads out the Liverpool team, told by manager Gerard Houllier to have pride in the Liverpool shirt. He's urging the 28, 29,000 crowd to back his side in noisy fashion. It's a lovely night for football. Liverpool need to make history tonight if they're to stay in and reach their fifth quarter final in this competition. Never before have they come back from conceding three goals in an away leg. The Merseyside is stuttering for form, four defeats in six. Celta Vigo are very much the team of the season so far in Spain. They lie third, it's their best ever start. And Gerard Houllier says it's very much a win or bust sort of night. What a night for 18-year-old Steven Gerrard, who makes his European debut in only his second start. David Thompson for Paul Ince, the return of Jason McAteer for Hegem. Dominic Matteo's first start of the season in place of Stig Bjornaby. The three changes from Saturday's defeat at Spurs and Ray, and Matteo's preferred as the better attacking left wing back. Well, that's right, yes, he's coming in for Bjornaby on that left-hand side there. McAteer will push on down the right-hand side, and you look at the midfield there, Gerrard, Thompson and Berger. Not a lot of experience, but there's a lot of heart in the club. Gerard, Gerard and Thompson, Scousers, Berger's got a lot of responsibility in there, and Fowler and Owen, I'm sure, will get something here tonight. One key component missing from Celta Vigo, the giant Bulgarian Lubo Penev band. Juan Sanchez will play the pivotal front role. The fullbacks are back from their first leg ban in Miguel Salgado and Rafael Berges, who was sent off at Villa Park in the second round win. Yes, yeah, so we expect uh, Celta Vigo to line up with a uh, back four there. The two main men for men are Mazzinho and Makaleli in the middle of the field. They're exceptional players, and of course, Mostavoy, who will play off Sanchez, he's got the fantastic ability to break forward and score goals as well. So Liverpool will need to be at their best tonight, because if they can see the goal tonight, then really that could well be the tie-over. An omen as far as the referee's concerned. The last time Hartmut Stramper of Germany was here, Liverpool hit six goals against Sion in a 6-3 win in the European Cup Winners' Cup. Fowler scored twice. He leads Liverpool tonight, kicking from right to left, kicking away from the cop. And Gerard Houllier's plea for the fans to roar loud and proud has certainly come to life in the opening second. Here's Karp in, inside to Makaleli, the ball away and out of play, and a first throw in to Dominic Matteo. Has played on the left-hand side of defence before for Liverpool. Phil Bav was behind him, Robbie Fowler, and a little push in the back from Michel Salgado, new Spanish international, has three caps this very season against Cyprus, against Israel, and against Italy. He was the man who broke Juninho's ankle last season. Broke his own ankle a month later. Manchester United and Arsenal were interested in him, according to reports. Here's Matteo with a free kick. Swung up towards Carragher, who was four. Here's Phil Babb. Dangerous, of course, but a mistake will be made early on. And here for Celta Vigo, a chance to kill the tie. James, and it's just up and over the bar. Well, Sanchez could have buried the tie. And an early mistake in the opening minute of play. Well, I say, but don't let the ball bounce. And once Phil Bubb let it bounce, he didn't know where Sanchez was. He miscontrolled it, and it's a good save by David James. Well, that would have been Liverpool dead and buried. Sanchez, James got down low to make the block challenge. It spun up horrifically for one second and then dropped kindly over the bar. Mostavoy with a corner kick. Up in attacking that near post. And again. Mostavoy the Russian, the playmaker, the danger from the first leg. The man who destroyed Aston Villa and a second corner kick immediately for Celta Vigo. Mostovoy scored here for the Russians against the Czech Republic in 1996 in the European Championship Finals in a wonderful game. 3-3 draw. Gerard missed the cross, didn't quite stretch enough. McAteer did behind it. The night for young Steven Gerrard, the 18-year-old from Peyton. Mum Julie and Dad Paul are here. Big family contingent. Mostovoy again. Look at the little pack after it. Well, Thompson married and so did Matteo and so did Bobby Fowler. His young Steven who had his first start on Saturday in the defeat at Tottenham Hotspur. 
James. By Makaloli. Representatives from 11 different nationalities in the Celta Vigo squad. Michel, the Spaniard. Sent off in their only league defeat this season against Alaves. Here's Matia. To Bayer. Sneakly done, Liverpool. Berger and Fowler and Staunton. Definitely he who steps furthest forward on the centre back three. If Liverpool do commit one, and that's good chasing and hurrying by Owen. Taking it off, Berges. Now to Shurovic. And stabbed away by Caceres, the Argentinian, at the expense of a corner kick. And the first time we've seen Jurovic tested by Michael Owen's pace. And the first corner kick of the game to Liverpool. Well, it's been a thrilling opening three minutes, and there's the header by Fowler. Easily dealt with in the end. Well, it was, but the pleasing thing for Liverpool is that they've actually, you know, from a corner kick, like Bobby Fowler got on the end of it, couldn't direct it in the corner, but certainly got a good clean header on it, and might be disappointed he didn't direct it better than he did. Referee from Germany saying that Liverpool are taking the throne in the right place. He also refereed at Blackburn's home defeat by Trelleborgs the other year. And Villa against Bilbao away last season. That's Michel Salgado settling for the goal kick. I was just thinking there, Jonathan, you know, we talk about how many youngsters there are. This is Michael Owen there chasing back, upsetting Burgess there, getting the ball off him, showing great enthusiasm. Uh, and then nearly creating a chance for trying to pull, back, pull the ball back to Fowler. But while this is going, I was just thinking, a lot of youngsters in the side tonight, but sometimes youngsters play without fear. They've got nothing to lose tonight, they can go for it, they can only make themselves heroes. Uh, and maybe that just might be to Liverpool's advantage. 71-72 in their first four. movement in the Salta Vigo side in the first leg. It was mesmerising at times, especially the first 20 minutes of the second half. Thompson. Sarez down. Makalele. Sanchez to Carpin. It's very tight and fast. Quick control. Matteo. Paolo has space. Thompson, Jurovic backing away, goes for goal. What a wonderful goal for the reserves the other day against Aston Villa, beating virtually half the Villa side. And he likes to have a pot shot now and again, doesn't he? Well, he certainly does. He doesn't lack confidence. He's a very, very good player and always prepared to try that long range effort. Didn't quite get hold of it there, but uh, most important, he's got that confidence to have a go at it. This is Jurovic. Berges, too high for Mostovoy. Now back to David James, has plenty of time. Too far for Dominic Matteo. England youngster, but here in Scotland. Michel Salgado and Carpin to Mostovoy. Good defensive doggedness by Thompson getting in there again. He, very much an Anfield favourite, David Thompson. I love his hustle, bustle approach to the game, Ray. Well, we've just seen his effort at one end of the field, and there we see his other quality, you know. He's prepared to track back runners, he'll get tackles in. He might not be the biggest in the world, but he's not afraid of... Cup uh, in Paris with the goal, Naeem, from the halfway line. McAteer. away. Just really beginning to build a reputation for themselves in Spanish and they won a major honour there. Jurovic away. 
Gerard, he should play presence, hasn't he? Now Steve Staunton. Matteo hasn't really got forward here on the left-hand side as they would have hoped Liverpool in the game. Sanchez to Carpin. Babs challenge. Mind you, the main reason why Matteo hasn't got forward is the role of Carpin playing out here on the uh, wide right. Yes, Carpin has pushed uh, Matteo back whenever he possibly can, but so uh, you know, Matteo has got to force himself on the game, force himself onto Carpin and push him back. Carpin thought about taking the corner kick, but he's not been allowed to. Reviva, Sanchez is in, Jurovic too, Caceres and Berges. David James, six foot. Uh, Dave James, six foot five, the tallest of all. Oh, that's a lovely clearance as well. Now Michael Owen. Look at the blue shirts back already, and that's got to be a yellow card, surely, because that's the third occasion Michel has given away a free kick. Well, I think if I remember right, it was him that had the slash at Michael Owen that didn't make contact with him. So that's a blatant foul. Um, the referee has been very, very lenient on that one, I have to say. Berg will take the free kick. Carragher's in there and Fowler and Bab and Staunton. Out though by Mazzinho. Wasn't a good free kick. Just over ten minutes to go on the first half. Fowler, look at his space now. Connect properly with it, Robbie Fowler, as he sought his 11th goal, and this is 20th European game for Liverpool. That's a lovely turn by Revivo. Sanchez. Gerard again did well, but it's a corner kick. Sanchez with the run. The edge of the penalty here as Mostovoy goes across to take that corner kick. Let's have a look to see who they're. Throwing into that penalty box now. Carpin's going forward. And Berges. A little run short by Sanchez. Mostavoy. Corner of the penalty area. Here he is. Mostavoy covered so much ground. Looks for Sanchez. Should be David James. And is. Fowler to Matteo. Staunton's available. Actually playing in the heart of midfield now. Did he really need to punch it away? Like the goalkeeper away. I wouldn't have thought so. I mean, obviously, these balls do move in the air and it has lots of power on it from Berger, but uh, certainly, you know, you think you get both hands to it and palm it away to a safe area rather than punch it as he did. I think it was probably a difficult ball for him to actually get hold of, but uh, you would hope that a goalkeeper would deal with it differently. Let me see. It was great moving. strength. Moving a little bit in there, there. I mean, it's, it's not a million miles away from his head there, is it? I mean, you see it from behind the goal and you think, well, get the palms of your hands to it. Was there. Oh, skies it. Chance for Owen, perhaps no. Floppy hair, Dutruel. 
He's certainly strong in the air there when needed. Well, it's another panic clearance, isn't it? Well, the goalkeeper does well there, keeps his eye on it. You know, Owen could easily have put him off there, but uh, kept his eye on it and made it look simple. He's uh, keen to win what they call in Spanish football the Zamora, the uh, top goalkeeper award. Only one Celta goalkeeper's ever won that. Uh, Famous uh, Spanish club goalkeeper Santi Canizares. Berges joins in from the ball by Mazzinho. Now Revivo. Berges continues his run. The Israeli international comes forward. What a bad effort from Michael Haim Revivo for his first goal of the season. Well, that's the first time we've really seen anything dangerous from him, but David James always had it covered, it was never going to be a problem for him, but uh, at least that's the first sign of, of something positive, having been told so much about him before this game started. Santa Vigo fans, 1,200 of them have travelled. Sing the Liverpool fans at the moment, but uh, they'll have some work to do. Free kick Liverpool's way, there they are. They've been great fun over the last 24 hours. Their Viking helmets. Warm helmets. Galicia, region of Spain, northern Spain. Goalkeeping by Dutruel, he came a long way for it. There's the drummer, who's kept up that beat throughout the game, the afternoon, the morning, and the last evening. He's still talking, isn't he, Master Boy? Two minutes of stoppage time signalled by the fourth official, Torsten Koop from Germany. Well, it has surprised me a little bit that whenever they've had free kicks in wide areas, they've just Liverpool have just knocked it straight into the box, trying to win headers and. Uh, you know, Liverpool haven't got the biggest side in the world. You thought they, really they should be trying to get down the outside and round the back to get balls in from the byline. But any free kick they've had in this first half, they've just knocked it in. Uh, just knocked it in now. And Berger and Carpin just uh, sort of interrupt Ray, just having a little uh, uh, contretemps down below us. Rostovoy adding his six penny worth as well. And this will be Caceres with the free kick. Summer from Valencia. Casares was a great favourite of the coach Ramieri there. Staunton off Thompson with a deflection. You can see now in stoppage time how badly Liverpool have missed Ince and Redknapp and McManaman. They always were likely to. in there first, McAteer to Carragher. And that's the half-time whistle. Very few chances for either side, although Celta Vigo could have scored in the first minute after a mistake by Phil Babb. Mostovoy, of course, is their playmaker. Sanchez went close. Liverpool have had efforts from Thompson, Berger and from Robbie Fowler, their captain. But at half-time, as the players go off, it's goalless on the night, which means that Celta Vigo of Spain still lead 3-1 on aggregate. Don't go away. Half-time for Liverpool, we can tell you about. Danny Murphy is coming on for his European debut for the club, and Phil Babb has gone off. It's a big weight to carry on the shoulders of this 21-year-old 
midfield come forward player from Chester who scored a couple for the reserves last week in a warm-up match and came on against Tottenham for the last 20 minutes or so at the weekend. Ray Clements, what are your thoughts on that substitution? How will it shake up now? Well, I'm sure that uh, all it will mean is Thornton will go to the back with Carragher to replace Bab, who has been there, and Murphy will come into the middle of the field uh, and will break forward to join Fowler and Owen, because that's what his strength is. But certainly they'll play with the two at the back of, of Carragher and, and Storm because they have to go for broke now, as simple as that. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously Murphy is a player who's a, well, he's made his reputation at crew, could score goals from the middle of the field. And I'm sure that, uh, you know, we'll see him arriving in the box along with Thompson. It might mean that Gerrard has to sit in the middle of the field. It's and, Liverpool. Sorry, Ray. If it does, then it's an even greater responsibility on him. It's Liverpool to get us off and underway, kicking from left to right in this second half, kicking towards the cop then, all in red. Salto Vigo in the light blue shirts and white shorts. There's their manager, Victor Fernandez, who is a semi-pro player, Saranina and Stadium Casablanca. Packed it in at 25 to do his coaching diploma. Here's Thompson for Liverpool. And Dutruel and the back four of Michel Cancelers, Churovic and Berges. The midfield of Karpin, Makaleli, Mazzinho, Ravivo, Mostovoy. The lone front on that Sanchez. Although Mostovoy, Karpin and Ravivo get up so quickly with it. Here he is, Sanchez. And the nearby carrier. Listen to the fans once again here. We'll throw back to the days when the cop boomed out noise, rolled down from the goal behind the French-born keeper Dutruel in this particular second half. And that's been the cry from the fans throughout the game: attack, 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 attack. Michel with a throw. Has lost his bearings, Carpin's in there, and so too Staunton. Up to Michael Owen. Jurovic, the Yugoslav. Nimblest and quickest at the back three, they say. A goal kick only. Despite the efforts of Michael Owen. Jurovic with him, Ray. Right? Let's see whether a move got the last touch. Ooh, did that come well, off his thigh? It looked to me to come off, but it's on the blind side from the linesman who's on the near side to us, and it would be very difficult for him to have seen that, but certainly from our vantage point there, we could see that did come off uh, Jurovic's left thigh. Mazzini, Mostovoy, Revivo's wide left, Carragher coming in here. Vivo, the Israeli international. Well, lost his way, rather. This is Danny Murphy looking for Owen. Carpin. On to attempt to with Salgado. Thompson wins it back. Danny Murphy. Oh, unlucky. In. Caceres away. Now Mazzinho, such a steady new influence. Mkhitaryan read it. Carragher has it. And now Steven Gerrard. In through the downfield academy here. Looks for Owen. Thompson's making a run in there and Fowler by Caceres. Katia drives, Berges blocks. Sanchez, that's a nice touch. Juan Sanchez. Recently coming to the Spanish national team. There he is tackling back. Playing against Italy as a substitute last month. Staunton. looks from McAteer. Took it well because it was an awkward pace. Over Thompson. Product to the youth team here. Went out on loan last season to Swindon. Picks out 
Suarez, and now that's Mazzinho to Carpin. Salgado outside him. Michel, she's getting into the near post to draw a defender away. Revivo's header back across. And eventually away by Jason McAteer. Good build up again, though, by Celta Vigo. Well, you know, we saw it out there in Spain. They're capable of that sort of build up if they're given the time. And, uh, you know, they've now created a couple of opportunities. One they should, certainly should have scored from when uh, David James made a good block. And yes, again, that was a good opportunity. So it's a warning to Liverpool, but Liverpool are just going for it now, which they've got to do. Now Mostavoy, nice touch. Away towards Revivo. Carragher coming down at it. Oh, he's gone through Carragher. Chance here for Celta Vigo again. Michel's in the middle. Here he is. Did James get a touch on the not Too short. Both of them are hurt. The referee's quite right to call things to a halt here. Well, I think David James got a touch to that, and it was a vital touch as well. He had to be brave, he didn't have to see what who was coming in, he just had to keep his eye on the ball. Jamie Carragher should have won that, really, but when the ball's delivered in, David James keeps his eye on the ball, gets the slightest of touches, takes a bang in the chest for it, but uh, that was good, brave goalkeeping, because it was a vital touch, because otherwise that just might have been the goal that put Liverpool in dire trouble tonight. 53 minutes gone. Nil-nil on the night, 3-1 on aggregate. Steve Staunton now. So twice he's driven Liverpool on this season from the back. Inspired, improved performances. Valencia away. to Thompson just talking away there by Caceres up in under pressure from Matteo pushing forward down that left now Patrick Berger deflected off Mostovoy out by Jurovic Sanchez another good touch and they get there with that big Luboslav Penev the six foot four inch Bulgarian out suspended Well, unfortunately for David Thompson, that was the wrong choice there, I think. You know, Robbie Fowler is in a, a wonderful, you know, making a wonderful run if David Thompson could just slid him in down that right-hand side, but chose the more difficult ball over to Owen, and unfortunately it got cut out. Never been hurried throughout the evening, Celta Vigo. Berger was the offender there. Played the game at their own pace. The metronome at the heart of it all to dictate the pace of the match was Mazzinho, whose free kick was disappointing there. Gerard. McAteer has Fowler through the middle. Takes on Berges. It's just a hint of the run there by McAteer. Such a wholehearted Liverpool player. Gerard with the cross. Owen is in there. Did he climb on Salgado? He did. There's the man who went down on loan uh, for a while. Salgado went to Salamanca, I seem to remember. But they uh, at uh, Vigo, and indeed it, the Spanish administration this season rated him very highly. He's coming at the right fullback for his country. Could be there for quite some time. Only 23. Gerard on. Still nil nil. Now Michael Owen. Salgado's made the mistake. Only a throw in. The Liverpool side have lost three of their last four games here. Staunton. A bit of room to manoeuvre, gives it away, not a good ball, blocked by Makaleli. Makaleli into the path of Revivo. He's got Sanchez on the far side, Liverpool getting players back. Michael Heim, Revivo, the Israeli into the box. And surely that has ended Liverpool's hopes. The man brought in, in place of the suspended Penev, Revivo, has ended any hopes 
of a Liverpool revival. A low, crisp drive, and it's 1-0 on the night to Celta Vigo. Well, he cut back very, very sharply onto his right foot there, and uh, I think, to be fair, David James was possibly unsighted by Jamie Carragher in front of him. But uh, he shows great pace. Again, they've hit Liverpool up with the pace they've got in the team. The goal's opened up for him, the angle's good for him. Just look how he was first to turn at the right angles there. Goes past young Steven Gerrard there. Good strike, but I think Jamie Carragher just possibly unsighted David James, giving him no chance. And uh, as you say now, Jonathan, it, really, it was always a mountain to climb, but now they've really got major problems. And uh, you know, to score the goals they need to win this tie now would be the greatest performance from a Liverpool side ever in Europe, I would think. And Brad Friedel on. Well, maybe it's a little bit of, of double vision. Maybe that's what the situation is, you know, because he did take quite a heavy, quite a heavy bang there. But uh, you know, he was a big lad. He didn't even get the the, tr the treatment from the trainer. But certainly something's happened there, and it looks like it might be a bit of double vision. Dominic Matteo turns. Here's Patrick Berger. Riedler did well. Murphy spots a run of Owen, he's straight offside, puts it short to Fowler, good football, Liverpool. Here's Jason McAteer, and Eva going with him. Tried to flick it one way and run the other, and that's a nice turn by the goal scorer. Nice touch for the big American, Brad Friedel. Owen, Riedler in front of him, still Michael Owen. Akaleli got the touch on. Here's Berger. Looking for Karl Heinz Riedler. Berger's away. And Mazzino has it. Had outstanding individuals over the two games against Liverpool Mazzino and Mostovoy. Penev in the first tie. Yes. Carpin, here's Michael Owen. Bounced off Casares. Oh, what a bounce off his hand, actually. Jurovic away. Sanchez missed a couple of chances in the first game. And Revivo. Pushing it around with the air and the confidence of Liverpool sides of old, really. And this is Robbie Fowler into Owen. Michael Owen chance for Liverpool. Into Riedler. Oh, was he pushed from behind? Did he get a shot away? It's a goal kick only. Certainly Robbie Fowler turned to the referee and had a word. Let's see if there was contact in there. See you. Michael Owen's first touch there, just took it towards the defender and it just narrowed his angle for him and Riedler just couldn't stretch the other's left foot. If Michael's touch had just taken it just a little bit out to the right-hand side, I'm sure he'd got a better strike on target. But even then, it looked for all intents and purposes that Riedler was going to get one of the goals back, but uh, just couldn't direct it. Santa Vigo. Thomas, who played in the first game on the left-hand side of midfield as a wing-back. Signed him in the summer. Murphy. Now, Mostavoy away. Kaleli's gone down hurt. Mostavoy, perfect release to Carpin. Here's Revivo. Blocked by Staunton. I just wonder whether Carpin should have gone out to the right hand side where uh, Sanchez had taken up a good position. Steve Staunton. A confident carry. Owen, oh, still Makaleli's down. Michael Owen! He's not happy with his defence. Again, I'm not too sure whether. Uh, Goalkeeping coach will be happy with his handling, but he got it over the bar anyway, right? Well, I think you know he's, he's made a good save here. It's a good strike and moving in the air. He's got a good hand to it, and it's over the top of the bar there. 
But uh, it's a good strike by Michael Owen. He's allowed to run at people, which hasn't ha happened much in this game for him. And if you allow him that time and space, he's not afraid to have a dig. Revivo is coming off the goal scorer. Thomas is coming on. And he got the goal on 56 minutes. Comes off. 20 minutes to go. Liverpool's first corner of this second half. A little chat going on inside that penalty area. Riedler attacks it by Carpet. Mazzinho. Makaleli, who was down hurt a few moments ago, is OK, by the way. Gerard. The little chat was going on the penalty area before was Makaleli and Michael Owen talking because it was Michael Owen that actually bundled into Makaleli and uh, supposedly gave him the injury. This is Owen. Beyond one, beyond two. Referee admits he's made a mistake. Saw the second foul challenge coming in and blew, and he admitted it straight away. But it doesn't help Liverpool's cause, does it at all? Fans booing and whistling. Lovely run by Owen. That's when he blew, though. This is Reid leaping. Makatir in there as well. In comes a cross. Fowler on and why? Yes, has got a. Whack in the air by Fowler. This is the effort by Owen. Yes, and he strikes and see it going away from the goalkeeper there, and he just follows the ball all the way and does the safe and sensible thing, putting it over the bar. Pirates. And being replaced, the Brazilian World Cup David winner Burns of 1994. Now the 22-year-old who came from Benfica at the start of last season. Portuguese under 21 international and indeed captain Been badly hit by injury since his arrival from Portuguese football Salgado away well they've taken one of the men off who for me have won this tie for them you know uh, Michelele and, and Mazzinho have performed superbly in front of uh, the defence of Celta Vigo and uh, they more than anybody I think are the two people that have made this uh, a comfortable result for them. Michael Owen. Steve Gerrard. Two magnificent first half passes. Now looks for Fowler. Last well season, the damage was done for Liverpool. Away from home in Strasbourg. Away from home in 96 97. Paris Saint Germain. And again this season. to be Carragher away. Looks for Owen. Now Gash behind it. Gerard. The stretch. Thomas persists. Carragher. Right, Treadler showing for it. His chest passed off to McAteer. Fowler will attack this one. Drop too short. I have to say they haven't perhaps made the best use of opportunities when they've had it on the wit. You also have to say, say that any Premiership team would badly miss a McManaman and it's a red nap. Makaleli to Burgess. Tomas. The first time Liverpool have been beaten by a Spanish side on this ground. Valencia held them 0 0. Lost a UEFA Cup tie to Spanish opposition on the toss of a coin against Bill Barrow back in 1968. This is Makaleli. Out by Matteo. And a wide was from Bruno Caires. Caceres. Caires. Dominic Matteo fought so hard for it, it's summed up the night really, plenty of honest endeavour. 
but against class opposition. It just hasn't been good enough. Perez in with Gerard, it looks a real one for the future. Lord Makaleli. Harbin always has given them width on that right side. Salgado. Beyond Patrick Berger. Good yell to the near post, deflected. Well, certainly on the edge of the penalty area and screaming for it but not seeing was Thomas. It was Salgado with the run. Yes, he'd be disappointed he doesn't pick out one of the blue shirts there. I mean, there was nobody in that position. It looked like he was trying to beat free at the near post, in fact. But there were players that were free in the 18-yard area, which he would have been better placed to have played the ball to. Carpin from the short corner by Mosterboy. Four minutes of stoppage time made by the referee. This is Carpin. 1-2 play with Goodio, tumbled. Just a goal kick. Let's have a look at that one again. Well, it's just straightforward. It tumbled over there, wasn't it? There was no way there was a tackle at all, so nobody's complaining about, but uh, you know, Carpin and Lundgren must have had plenty to say throughout the game, to be fair. One defeat in 19 games would be Saltavigo's record this season. Genuine championship aspirations in Spain this season. Just three campaigns on from when they stayed up on the last day. 96-97, they beat Real Madrid 4-0 at home. This from distance is Gerard. They haven't been able to have enough shots, really, throughout the game. Hope. Carpin. Now Michael Owen for Liverpool. In towards Fowler. Maybe he thought it was intended for Riedler. Valerie Carpin. Thomas. Good yell, just ran too tight so he couldn't see him to push the ball through to him, Thomas. Salgado. 1-0 on the night for one on aggregate. The dummy by Carpin, here's Thomas again. Berges, good yell in the middle. Thomas. Somehow got his way through. Checked by Steve Staunton when it seemed to me he was already sagging and had run out of legs. Well, he got exactly what he was looking for, wasn't it? Once he got into that position there, he's, he's losing his balance and he's just made, Steve Staunton's made it easy for him by lunging at him there. And he's just put himself on the floor, as simple as that. But he's won the free kick and looking at it again, I don't really think Liverpool could complain. He was playing for it and he's won it. And now they queue up. Mostavoy, we've already seen what he can do with a free kick. Aston Villa know all about that. Good yell is there as well. It is Mostavoy, saved by James, offside, Carpin. It won't count. Won't count, Valerie Carpin. German assistant referee, Frank Schumacher. Very quick to spot it. We had no hesitation. The flag was up well before Carpi actually headed the ball into the net. Yeah, it's spot on, linesman. Little consolation for Liverpool, perhaps. Stephen Gerrard, the mute song started moments ago on the cop. There's only one Stephen Gerrard. You'll no doubt hear that name in the future. Now Murphy. We skip beyond Storms. Oh, look at this, it's four against one here. Murphy getting back, four against two. Carpin, surely. Good yells in the middle. Carpin must finish it. Thomas arrives. How on earth did they miss that? 
dear, oh dear, oh dear. It is amazing, isn't it? They've got such talent in their side, they've played so well, and here's the simplest chance of the evening, and what does he do with it? It's not even close. Well, it should have been certainly finished there. It is finished now. And though Thomas failed to put the scoreline beyond doubt, there can be few doubting Thomases out there that this is a very good Celta Vigo side. They have gone through on the night 1-0, Revivo scoring on 56 minutes. Liverpool going out of the UEFA Cup by four goals to one on aggregate. And England's last representatives in the UEFA Cup have gone badly missing. Ince and Redknapp and McManaman, the suspended Hagen too. And it's Rafael Berges who takes Celta Vigo through. 1-0 on the night, 4-1 on aggregate, and Liverpool, sadly, are out. It's Crespo, this could be dangerous for Rangers. Crespo against Amoruso, saved by the feet of Niemi, good stop. The danger not over, but Gossian into the box. Arthur Newman came away with it. Well played out. Crespo had the chance, saved by the goalkeeper. Yeah, there's a danger he got away, and then he took on Amoruso, just had the strength to hold him off. Good save at his near post by Niemi. Niemi for Johansson. Nicely played for Rob Wallace. That's for Andre Konchelskis. First time. Good effort from Konchelskis. That makes the Rangers supporters feel a whole lot happier. Nearly 30 minutes gone, and that's the first serious Rangers attempt on goal. Yeah, they needed that. I mean, uh, it's good to see Kachos is just having the first time shot. In from Veron. Uh, what a chance that was. If he hadn't lost his footing, Stanic had a real chance to score the opening goal here. Yeah, no doubt about it. And Renzama Russo got it totally wrong there. Ferguson leaves it for Newman and Ian Ferguson thinking about a shot well struck Buffon holds it at the second attempt that's much better from Rangers taking a much more direct route through the middle and this was well struck by Ian Ferguson Chelsea's again it's been a lively start from him in the second half now Barry Ferguson and George Alberts looking for room for the left foot. Well struck and well saved by Buffon. It's a different looking Rangers team after the turnaround and Buffon forced into this diving stop. Yeah, it's a good hit from Alberts. He had no room to get the shot in there, but he fired it with a lot of power. There's Benarivo. And on. And here's Crespo, chance for Palmer. Saved by Nemi, but Palmo scores on the rebound. Rangers have started the second half so well, and it's the sucker punch from Palma. Crespo found a way through, saved by Nemi, but Palmo tucked away the rebound. Yeah, that was a danger, fantastic run by Crespo. He got away from Amaruso, he was left. Nemi did brilliantly just to save it there. Now Barry Ferguson. Colin Hendry's won it, Rob Wallace! Rob Wallace equalises for Rangers! 22 minutes of the second half gone! And Rangers back on level terms! Hendry played a big part in this, and it's his 14th goal of the season for Rob Wallace! So that's the very latest score, 1-1. One, one. Uh, there's 10 minutes or so, I think, left in that match. Uh, they're well into the second half, and Ali, I suppose they're doing well, bearing in mind that shock they had on Saturday. A um, bit of a drama on Saturday. A I was hoping you wouldn't ask me about that, actually, <laughs> but um, they had a great result in the previous...